if the court overturns Roe versus Wade, millions upon millions of women will lose a constitutionally protected freedom to make their own personal decisions about their health care, their family, and their body. In my home state of Wisconsin, if Roe is overturned, a 19th century state law would go back into effect that bans Wisconsin doctors from performing abortions. Wisconsin lawmakers passed that law in 1849. Yes, more than 170 years ago, and just one year after Wisconsin became a state. If the state's abortion law went back into effect, women's health care would be criminalized and doctors could be charged with felonies for performing abortions and face up to six years in prison and $10,000 in fines. That is precisely the problem with overturning Roe and returning this issue to the states. Politicians can interfere with women's access to health care. And I don't want to take women in Wisconsin back to 1849. I don't want to take away the rights of victims of rape and incest. I want women to have the same freedom that they have had for the last 50 years since Roe became the law of the land. This is in such stark contrast from my Senate Republican colleagues who want to strip away the constitutional rights and freedoms of women in Wisconsin and nationwide. If the Supreme Court is going to legislate from the bench and turn back the clock by 50 years on Roe, then the Senate needs to pass our Women's Health Protection Act. The House passed the Women's Health Protection Act last year, and now the Senate has an urgent need to pass our legislation to protect the provider-patient relationship, mm -hmm. to protect the health care professionals that provide care, and protect the freedom and constitutional right of a woman to access this care. I am so glad Majority Leader Schumer, that you will be bringing this legislation to the floor for a vote and that every senator will be, uh, uh, will have a choice. They'll have a choice on whether they want to undermine and infringe on constitutional rights guaranteed under Roe versus Wade, or do they support protecting the freedom of millions and millions of Americans to make their own personal decisions about their health care, their body, and their families? The American people overwhelmingly support this legislation and believe that women and their doctors should have control over their medical decisions and these decisions for each family to make and the government should not interfere. So next week, the American people will see where their senator stands. Should American women have the same constitutionally protected rights and freedoms that they've had for 50 years? Or will American women have fewer rights than their mothers and grandmothers? Thank you, Pam and Senator Stabenow. Thank you.